not to kill attraction with a man that you have just met or a man you're in a relationship with. Hello, my name is Chengi and you, my precious one, of course, are my world. Welcome to Chengi's World right here, where I teach you ladies how to present as a high value, high status, high worth woman that men find completely irresistible. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. Okay, okay. So today we are going to be talking about some of the attraction killers. What are some of the things that we do that seem normal, exciting, but actually just kill the attraction? Okay, and so I'm going to be going through some of these things. Attraction is only works for men. A, when there's polarity. Okay, you are feminine and he's masculine and there's that pull and therefore you have attraction so you can watch my video about how to build attraction through polarity okay but this video is about the fact that if you want some of the things we do is to number one get on the phone with a guy we've just met and we have this amazing resonance so much in common we really get on oh my god he thinks the way i do he, we're just vibing on a level and so we stay on the phone for three four five hours and in that moment you are enjoying the interaction he's enjoying the interaction and everybody's feeling the chemistry building up you're thinking finally finally <laughs> dun, dun. Like you, you, you just cannot believe how much you have in common and how amazing and how well you are connecting. Now, this is a beautiful feeling and sometimes without knowing it, time flies. You don't actually realize you've been on the phone with somebody for three hours because the conversation has been amazing. But a high value woman who understands the principles of building attraction will never stay on the phone with a man that long. She gives him and herself enough time to really get the meat, but not quite to the bones. She has an air of mystery. And some of you ladies now, why is this important? Because rarity is a value that is really important when it comes to attraction. We're attracted to things we don't see all the time. We're attracted to uncommon things. We're attracted to things that sparkle, things that do not exist in our world cheaply. We're attracted to diamonds because we can't just go outside of our house and pick up a diamond and say, oh, look, I found a diamond. They are not everywhere. They are rare. And that, when we present ourselves as rare, as our time and our attention being rare it's not something I do often but not saying it to a man oh I don't speak on the phone like this with any man often because quite frankly girls they don't believe you if you spend four hours on the phone with a guy he's gonna assume you spend four hours with every guy now what happens with men is after they've had this amazing interaction with you it's like when you're thirsty and you have a good old guzzle you know when you're like I'm so thirsty glug 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 and the thirst just kind of melts away and you're not thirsty anymore you're highly likely to go and pick up the bottle and to drink again and pick up another bottle and drink again because once your thirst has been quenched you don't really want to drink again but if you have a sip and you put it down you're gonna listen to your body and soon you'll be like, oh, I want another sip. And that water is just so tasty because you are taking it in little gulps and it matters. Now, it's the very same thing with your attention. Once a man has four hours and he's had his fill of emotional attention, he's had his fill of intimate attention, and now he is going to the next stage. He's now wanting to see if he can get laid. Now, if he feels from that interaction that he's not gonna get laid easily, that is why some of you find that you'll have, you know, maybe three days consecutively of talking and talking and talking, and then he just goes to you or goes quiet or starts to pull away. This is him, A, rejuvenating himself and coming back to himself. But you, but now you are calm and you can be caught at any time. He can speak to you whenever he wants to speak to you for as long as he wants to speak to you. So now you're no longer rare. You're no longer a challenge. You're no longer special. Okay. So these are traps we fall into very, very, very quickly. What I want you to do is to sit back and give him enough of your time. Just a bit of your time. No more than an hour at most. 30 minutes now and again. Be available for him. If he wants to speak to you, of course, give me a call. I've got about half an hour to chat, right? Give him a time slot because you don't want to keep your relationship on the phone or via text. You want to meet, you want to 
feel his energy you want him to feel your energy you want to move the relationship forward now if the only way he can have a hearty good good juicy time with you is if he actually makes a date because then you're going to be giving at least three to four hours of your time on a date this is what will inspire him to want to spend time with you because on the phone it can only catch you for 20 minutes 30 minutes okay this is not about playing games. It's about understanding and mastering attraction and how it works. Making that the person always has enough but not enough. Just a little bit but not a little bit. I think it's uh, Over the Hedge that I used to watch with my son. It's an animation uh, or whatever. And, you know, they were talking about, I think... Uh, some sort of snack and it's moreish and enough is never enough you know because that is the sweet spot of sweet and bitter and I was saying to a client of mine recently I was like what is important is that you give him a, a measured amount of time but in that time in that moment in that moment that is gonna be the best conversation he will ever have it's gonna be the sexiest conversation it's gonna be the sweetest it's gonna be the funniest it's gonna be the best you have to make sure that when you show up for that 30 minutes that 20 minutes you show up you're not tired you're not moaning complaining about your day oh i don't know about day work i had an annoying client i had this it was just a long day i'm so tired i am yawning if you are not gonna show up as a positive happy woman if you're not gonna show up in your best energy then that 20 minutes can feel like a drag it's about making sure that you give him the best time the best possible conversation the smartest ask the best questions again check out 50 questions for every that every high value woman needs answered you know you are gonna have the most interesting conversation with this man and then you're gonna end the call and you're gonna end the call with oh just hold that thought i really 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 want to hear what you have to say but unfortunately i need to go and attend to something can we pick this up tomorrow you can be granted that this man is gonna call you tomorrow or can we speak about this when when we meet on our date on saturday i'm gonna make a note and let's have that conversation he's got something to look forward to because he has an unfinished thought that maybe he was sharing with you or he has not gotten the answer to a question that he asked it's always about leaving that little edge that unanswered question and that takes discipline and high value women have mastered the art of self-discipline okay the next one is um just really um letting him know at every stage that you have a standard for every request that if he wants to spend more time with you um if he wants more sexy if he wants more whatever of you there is a standard that he has to meet and so many of us don't present a standard before a man we don't put that barrier before him before he enters now it doesn't have to be the biggest tallest barrier because some of us have huge high walls that we do need to have those are our no-go those are standards we're not trying to change it this is how it is but along the way we can start off by letting him know that we have small little boundaries and small little things that he has to, to meet. If you want that, you're going to have to take me out on a date. That's my little boundary. That's my little standard. So that you know, so that we're already priming him to know that if I want this woman, the mountain is going to get more steeper, it's going to get higher. I'm going to have to challenge myself. We have to understand that men enjoy a challenge. I am not talking about game playing. I'm talking about being inherently high value when you know your truest worth when you inherently know your worth what you do ask of a man is never too much you never feel like i can't ask him to wait i can't ask him to do take me for this i can't ask him for that it's never too much because you know that you spend so much time honing in your conversation skills honing in your femininity energy honing in your mind honing in your ability to be the most amazing queen that he's ever spent his time with we give value to a man we're an asset to a man so when we ask for something before he can access that access that asset and that value that is inherent that we hone in that we manicure every single day by watching these videos by booking a call by getting on courses and trainings 
we don't we're not afraid to put a, a, an asking price for every level now some things we give away for free and some things we have to decide that before I do this for you I need you to show up in this way for me and so some these are some of the things and one of the main ways is a being a free wife and girlfriend giving away what should be given away in marriage, the privileges, the rights, you're doing his laundry, you're cooking his food, you're not his wife, honey. Okay, we kill attraction when we overgive, when we outgive, when a man gives you something and then you go and outgive him. He took you off for dinner, you make him a six course meal, do his laundry and drop him off at home. That is overgiving, outgiving, right? We have to always make sure that we are grateful and thankful recipients of everything that a man does for us and that we give back in return in appreciation, never outdoing, never outgiving. And when we do that, some of us think, well, I want to show him how much I appreciate him. I want to show him how much I care by how much I give to him, by giving more to him than he's ever given to me. And I remember dating a guy and he used to just go out of his way to really just show up, okay? And at the time, I wasn't that high value, I wasn't that skilled. So what I would do is I would feel intimidated. I'll be like, okay, he did this for me. So when I, when his birthday comes or when Christmas comes, I have to spend more money on him just to show him how much I appreciate him. But actually, that ended up killing the attraction because men genuinely within themselves want to feel needed. It is a very masculine thing for a man to feel like he's with a woman where he feels needed. If a woman doesn't show up as a woman that needs him, he's literally going to, it's gonna kill his attraction. This is why men always date down, especially high value men. This is why they walk away from all the women independent. This is why they walk away from, but the whole sort of neo miss independent, blah, 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 blah. They don't, you will find that a high value man will bypass Miss can do for herself, marry the receptionist, his PA, the secretary, the girl at the coffee shop, the makeup girl behind the counter. Why? Because he knows that she's gonna need him for something. She's gonna need him to help her with something. She is naturally within her feminine and this is where a lot of powerful, successful women fall short is that they fail to show a man that yes, I need you. I have a need for you in my life even if it's to carry the heavy stuff or to fix the light or to help me with my car. I, a man needs, masculine energy loves to be needed, wanted, but also needed. A man wants to know that you want him, but he also wants to know that deep down inside you need him. And so when we don't show men that we need them, when we don't, when we show men that I can even outdo you, we're showing them that there's nothing you can do for me to please me. And that kills that masculine energy. And so we need to be careful to understand these principles as we date that some of us without knowing it are actually killing the attraction that we think in our minds we are building. So it starts from hello to the end of I do. Even if you are in a marriage, there are some things that you need to not so generously give to your husband that you have to make sure that he's showing up as a good attentive husband, that he just doesn't feel entitled to all the things that you do for him because you're a high value woman. Now, if you learn to date high value, you will learn to marry high value. You will learn how to be in a marriage high value. But Chengi, marriage is different. I have so many married women reaching out to me seeking to be high value in their marriages. Why? Because their husbands have lost interest. Their husbands have pulled away. Because some of us ladies think that the issues we face in dating do not show up in marriage, but they absolutely you do. You can be married to a man who ghosts you. You can be married to a man who pulls away. You can be married to a man who wants space. You can, but it may not show up exactly the way that it does when you're dating, but these emotions follow you into marriage and therefore you need to learn how to be high value 
even with a ring on your finger. I really hope this video helped. I look forward to seeing you in my next one. If you'd like to work with me or any of my coaches, you know what to do. Go to changeswell.co.uk forward slash shop where you can book a call with either myself or one of my coaches. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. In the meantime, take care of you. Love you lots.